Tonight, San Marcos police are asking for help finding a man who punched another man and knocked him out. Detectives released this security footage and hopes that someone will recognize the suspect. It all happened a couple of weekends ago outside the Hive. That's a nightclub in downtown San Marcos. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell spoke with people who live and work in the area who say, unfortunately, fights are becoming more and more common as San Marcos grows. This video is hard to watch. When we showed it to people in downtown San Marcos, oh. they were startled. Daniel Quackenbush bartends and does security in the area. You see anything and everything. It's the nightlife. But he says usually fights don't get this out of hand. How does someone just get knocked out like that? Mm. Nah, that doesn't happen. Not in San Marcos. While some just chalk it up to San Marcos having a vibrant downtown scene. It's kind of what comes with being a fun college town and rowdy college town at that. Those who work here don't like the thought of this kind of crime near their businesses. We saw him getting put on a stretcher and knew that it was pretty serious. Chase Dawson manages the bar next door to the hive where the assault happened. He says it's out of the norm. The square in San Marcos is well policed. There's usually, you know, Five or six patrol officers on the square on the weekends, you know, when it's very busy and keeping their things under control. Dawson says investigators have been questioning people who work in the area, and he's confident they'll find the person who hurt this man. Yeah, I just hope that he's okay. Meanwhile, others worry as San Marcos keeps growing. Over the last even just five years, you see it just blow up. Uh, every new bars, new restaurants, new hotels, um, new apartment complexes. And this downtown area becomes more of a destination. It brings in a lot of people from different areas out of town. Scenes like this could become more common. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. San Marcos police say the man who was hit and suffered a head trauma in that video, if you know anything about what happened that night, police ask you to please give them a call. FBI data showing violent crime in San Marcos rose in 2015 and 2016. In fact, in 2016, San Marcos was the 43rd most violent city in Texas. Only five other cities with a smaller population reported more violent crimes. Port Arthur, Texarkana, Texas City, Galveston, and Palestine. Worth noting, more people have been moving into San Marcos, as we heard. Take a look at the start of the decade. The U.S. Census Bureau had that population there at just under 45,000. Last year, the Bureau estimated closer to 62,000 people. That's more than a 37% growth rate.